Good morning and welcome to Japan Song Travel. Today I was a little um, unsure of what to talk about, but I picked a topic that is quite fun, at least it was fun for me. It's again a I'm sorry, mobile ringing. Today's topic is a very strange place hidden in Omorican, so it's again, a, it's again a kind of a travel journal, travel diary. Well, this place is called Shingo. Mm, I don't think uh, it's a very famous place. I don't think many of you know about it. Uh, I stumbled upon it while uh, looking through my uh, Lonely Planet rough guide, something like that. Uh, we were uh, in Mizawa and with my friend we were going to shoot the documentary and we were uh, on a day off. So we were going like, oh, so we're here, what are we going to do today? Let's let's uh, let's scout around. Let's have a look around. So we pick our guide and uh, we spot this place, which was very mm, close enough to Shinga, driving distance, quite close, quite easy uh, to Mizawa. I'm sorry. So we um, uh, it was quite fun because uh, actually uh, the legend around Shingo when you open the guide is uh, Shingo uh, and uh, the tomb, the tomb of Christ. Circa 20 km a est del Tovada Ko, lungo la route 454, si trova il paese di Shingo, dove sorge la Cristo no Haka, tomba mm. di Cristo. Una tomba con un'enorme croce di legno costruita qui no, nel 1935 per commemorare un'insolita credenza locale. I devoti del posto asseriscono che in realtà fu il fratello di Gesù a morire sulla croce, mentre il vero Cristo fuggì e si stabilì a Shingo, dove visse sì. fino alla veneranda età di 106 anni. So you, uh, of course, you're a little perplexed because you say, okay, what's this all about? And then you scroll the reading and um, briefly, as the legend goes, uh, Jesus never died actually in uh, uh, in Jerusalem. He was never crucified apparently and he ran off to Japan. Because apparently the, uh, the actual person that was crucified was his brother. Bon. È andato suo fratello sulla croce. Quindi non è morto. Non è risorto. Quindi è risorto il fratello. So we uh, we traveled our, I don't know, two hours by car and we arrived there. And there is actually a lot of uh, um, indication, uh, Christ's tomb. And uh, we find this, uh, again, this wood, uh, a mountain and a wood. We, park our car. we parked our car and we uh, be began our uh, our walk. After, I don't know, five minutes walk, we arrived at this uh, wide uh, opening uh, with a building in the background uh, and uh, with some, I think, bodies uh, tombs on one side and then there was this uh, small hill um, with a very long description. Quindi quando Gesù aveva 21 anni venne in Giappone sì, per eh, cercare la conoscenza della divinità, del divino per 12 anni, poi è tornato in Giudea, 33 anni. Ah, ecco la Domenica delle Palme, <ride> da dove arrivava. Ha <ride> iniziato la missione, però a quell'epoca la gente della Giudea non accettò. Sì, questo la sappiamo anche noi, questa parte. Quindi la nave... Uh... And there, there were two uh, big cross, wooden cross, uh, which supposedly are the tombs of um, Jesus, 
and if I remember, uh, if I recall correctly, his uh, dead brother. Um, clearly, uh, the, the legend starts from a very recent uh, documents of 1936. Is a kind of uh, of writings, um, of course, apocryphal uh, writings, um, uh, conveniently destroyed during World War Two. So it clearly, is a is a make believe it's a, it's a legend it's nothing more it's very very fun to see how very um, we have a, a visitor so actually it's it's really fun to see how a very foreign tradition very foreign uh, um, legend in a way is uh, uh, recreated reinvented in a complete different uh, cultural set and cultural background of course, this, uh, this legend entails a lot of, of questions, so he didn't die, so who are Christian actually venerating the brother, and if so, does the brother agree to all this? Who, who did uh, appear on the third day after the death? So Jesus is not the God? What, what's going on? What, what's this all about? Obviously, you go there just for the sake of exploring some very particular, some very uh, <laughs> fun uh, aspect of Japan and how Japan uh, sometimes interacts with uh, Christianity, for example, in this case, and how it's, uh, it's very original in the way he touches other culture. Of course, we documented everything, so if you want to have a look at the complete video, I will post a link because, uh, of course, it was very fun to arrive there and, and discover what you always thought it was the tradition. Actually, it wasn't. Um, so, I hope this video, even if it's a little shorter, was fun and, I don't know, made you want to know more about this place and made you want to have a a fun tour in a very different and very not Japanese or maybe very Japanese uh, place of Japan. So thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye!